Well, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, I'm going to tackle something today that's uh, a bit controversial uh, lately, and that has to do with the PCS sensor on the front of the Tacoma back here. Now, recently I put out a video, I've put out a couple videos about this. There is a remedy notice that's been issued by Toyota, as well as a, a statement that was released um, as to how they're going to handle modified vehicles and that PCS sensor remedy. Uh, basically what they've said is if now you've lifted it or have bigger wheels and tires or whatever, they'll cover it, but you have to sign a disclaimer. Um, if you have an aftermarket grill, however, uh, they will not cover it. That's the short of it. Check out the videos. There's a couple videos on it uh, on the channel. So what I've decided to do, and before I uh, get into this, I just want to say, a little disclaimer, do not do this yourselves. Um, take it to the dealer, have them take care of it, whatever. I'm doing this because I have the aftermarket grill and I'm pretty sure in my own mind that they're not going to cover it. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of it myself. At least I'm going to make an attempt to not have any problems. I don't have any problems now, so I think if I do have this issue that they describe, this will take care of it for me and I won't ever have to deal with it anyway. So again, I'm not recommending that you do this, but I am going to show you what I'm going to do for my truck. So do it at your own risk and your own discretion. Little disclaimer there. What I'm going to do I've got some pictures uh, from a subscriber to the channel, Terrence, and thank you, Terrence, for sending these to me. He went in and he had the, uh, the remedy done, the recall, the fix, and he sent me pictures of what, uh, of what Toyota did. So I'm going to show you that right now. You guys can see what Toyota did. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate at least part of this. Now, this is, there, is, there are two components to this, right? There is the physical fix, if you will, and that is they, what they call a sealant, what looks to me like a piece of foam or neoprene, um, adhesive-backed, that they have stuck over the sensor. That's what you see in the picture. Um, doesn't look like one of the best solutions to me, Looks kind of hokey, uh, if I'm honest about it, but uh, it's what Toyota did, and I understand the whole point of it is to keep water off of the top of the sensor, to keep water from getting into that sensor and causing the problem. So they've, in essence, put a rubber foam neoprene band-aid over it to keep that from happening. So I'm going to do the same thing. I ordered some, uh, I guess this is a, a neoprene uh, rubber, what do they call it? They actually call it a neoprene uh, closed cell sponge rubber pad. This is what I've ordered. And I will leave a link down there below. Again, not recommending you do it, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, adhesive backed, and I'm going to do the same thing, at least the best that I can from the pictures that I've seen, to remedy my own potential problem. Again, I haven't uh, shown any uh, symptoms of what they describe happening. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. We'll put the camera back there behind the grill uh, so you can see where the sensor is. And, uh, and I'm going to have at it. I'm going to have to trim this a little bit, I think. It's about, uh, it's a four by four, four inches by four inches piece. And I think it probably needs to be more like four by three or something like that. But I'll let you know. Uh, once I measure it here and, and trim it off a little bit. So let's get going. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where the sensor is. Uh, if you look underneath here, and this is right in the center of the grill, the sensor is located right here. You can see it's plugged in here, and this metal part, or it's not metal, plastic, uh, part right here behind this white letter or label, that's the sensor. And this pad that I have, just like the pictures that I showed you, is going to go right across the top here, just like in the pictures, come down and fit right across the, uh, the plug here itself, again, just like in the pictures. So we're going to kind of just pull that back a little bit like so, so that we can fit the pad underneath here. By the way, this other cord that you see uh, 
tied down here. That's my front facing camera, so that shouldn't be in the way either. But we're going to lift that back a little bit and stick that pad right across here. So I'll set you guys down there. You can see how I'm going to do that. All right, got you guys placed right underneath there. You can see the sensor right here. This whole thing here is the sensor. And we're going to just kind of pull that wiring up. I might just tape it up for a minute just to get it out of my way. Of course, that might make it more in the way. So we'll probably just leave it alone. Um, I did uh, cut a little bit off of the foam. You guys can see here. And where it's going to go is going to be right here and then I'm gonna stick it down just like they did in the pictures that you could see just like that um, again kind of a hokey solution in my opinion but uh, nonetheless that's what we're gonna do um, it would be nice actually if this plug was out of the way but they did tape over that plug so we're gonna kinda leave that in I am gonna go grab a zip tie temporarily or something to keep this thing up out of the way so let me go do that and then we'll come back on okay I've got this thing zip tied up a little bit here again it was just to kind of get it out of the way a little bit so I can put this pad right down here and the way it's gonna go again is gonna be just like this and then I'll fold it down uh, over the pad or over the sensor rather uh, just like they showed, or like my picture showed, that uh, that Toyota had done it. So, here we go. Take the adhesive off the back of the pad, which might be easier said than done. I don't know. No, it comes off pretty simple. Now, getting this thing on there, because it is sticky, and it's very sticky, uh, is going to be interesting. I think... through everything in here. There. Hopefully I'm not too much in your line of sight. Again, just trying to line it up similar, hopefully almost the same as what Toyota did. I think that's about right right there. I have it pushed up against the uh, camera mount so we're just going to put a little pressure on it here this stuff does kind of form a little bit really I should have cleaned in hindsight I should have cleaned off the surface of course that I'm sticking this to but I did not so now we have it on like that like you can see we're just going to fold it down over the sensor Pretty simple, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. There. Just kind of folded it down over the sensor. I think pretty darn close. We'll see once I compare it when I'm done here uh, to what Toyota had done. Now I'm just kind of pushing things around down here to kind of hear the adhesive fighting me a little like so and all of this is behind right where the sensor is you cannot see this from the front because it's all enclosed but nonetheless I don't want it to stick out any that's a pretty good fit I think this four inch pad trimmed a little bit and I'll tell you at the end how much I'll actually show you how much I actually took off now, will this stay? You know, <laughs> again, I think it's a pretty hokey solution myself, but, hey, you know, it really appears to me to be what Toyota has done. There you go. You guys can see it from the top now, um, how it looks. That's what I have done. You can see right over here. I can get out of the light there, right there. Uh, that's where it goes over the uh, the plug or the connector just like you saw and then over here 
uh, on the edge you can see how it looks and then of course here from the top so I think it's pretty similar to what Toyota did I'm not sure it's exactly the same but uh, again the whole point is to keep uh, moisture uh, off of that sensor that might come in you know from the top up here I don't know so that uh, that's my fix okay that takes care of that we've got it done I've got my solution my band-aid uh, to the PCS problem done on the Tacoma back here uh, as far as the Tundra sitting outside I don't have an aftermarket grill or anything on that so I should be able to take it in and have it done um, you could do the same thing. It's the exact same procedure um, on the Tundra, but I'm not going to do that because I shouldn't have to. I haven't uh, changed anything on the Tundra to facilitate that. Um, again, I don't recommend that you do this. It's to your own discretion. I did it because I have an aftermarket grill, and from everything I've read so far, it seems that they are not going to cover it if you have an aftermarket grill. So I took care of the problem myself, at least going by... Uh, their procedure. Now, there is one other component to this, of course, and that is the software update. Obviously, I can't do that, but I'm thinking the software update is probably just something to tell the system if there's a malfunction to just go ahead and shut off. That's my guess. And hopefully, since I have done this to mine, I won't have that malfunction. We'll see. One other thing I was going to let you guys know, I did trim off about, this is about an inch and a half. Um, off of the pad that I put on. It was a 4x4 four four square, so now it's about a 4x, what, 2.5. And, um, and that seemed to be fine. It fit on there, from what I can tell, exactly the same way as what the one from Toyota does. How long this will actually stay on there, uh, I'll be curious to see. Uh, just as long as what Toyota's doing, I'm sure. Again, I think this is just a Band-Aid, but Hey, if it keeps water out and I never have a problem, I'll be happy with it. Um, I will leave a link below um, for this product. Again, do it at your own discretion. It's up to you. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, of course I did it myself. As far as how to cut this, I just used a pair of, uh, these are actually like 10 snips or wire cutters or something. It works perfectly. You can use a pair of scissors, whatever. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know your experience. I'm hearing things all over the place. People have taken it in, no problem, they fixed it. People have taken it in and the dealer refuses to fix it. Uh, some people have had to sign the waiver, others have not. Seems to still be uh, at the dealer's discretion, far as I can tell. We'll see you guys next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.